office. So what's two or three billion dollars here or there if you're the party of fiscal conservatism anyway? Leave taxpayer subsidies for rich guys' corporate jets alone. But you know, as Eric Cantor's office falls back on the argument that two or three billion dollars is no biggie, no reason to bother closing a little corporate tax loophole that teeny, it is funny to look at how many things Republicans have said this year we must cut, we can no longer afford. Things that do not cost taxpayers nearly as much as that measly two or three billion on subsidizing corporate jets. Like for example, the $868 million they proposed cutting from WIC, the food program for women, infants, and children. Or the $7.3 million they proposed cutting from the Smithsonian. Or the $51 million they proposed cutting from the National Park Service. Or the $899 million from energy efficiency and renewable energy. How about $2 billion from job training programs Republicans are cutting? It's not that they do not want to cut things that don't cost much money. They say we can't afford any of those things, but two or three billion dollars to tax, for taxpayers to subsidize rich guys' corporate jets? They say leave that in because that one, that's no biggie.